Why are you protecting Barry Berkman? Why are you protecting Barry Berkman? Did you love my daughter? Why are you protecting Barry Berkman? This was the most intense emotionally, just mentally material I think I have ever done in my career. This is like a super collaborative show. The scripts are amazing, impeccable. The writers are incredible. It's one of the, uh, you know, there's been only a couple of magic shows. This is one of them. This is a magic show for me. You only get two or three of them <laughs> in, in a lifetime. And I'm, I'm, I just turned 70. So, <laughs> how do you know to do all this? Writing? Oh, it's easy. You know, you just um, follow your instincts and keep it honest, you know, just like when you're acting. We never start writing the season thinking of these themes. It just kind of starts to present itself. And then this idea of forgiveness and this idea, can you be redeemed? It feels like, all right, this is the way it wants to go, so let's go in this direction and see if it makes sense. I believe, and, and some of this I got from your teachings, that, that, that you can be the version of yourself that you want to be. I never said that to you. The first page of uh, season one to the last page of episode eight. Those were my favorite pages. I'm not kidding. Trust me, this is an oh my God arc for any human being. And then I can only imagine what Steve Root went through and Sarah went through and Anthony went through. Holy mackerel. So now, you know, my business is like completely burned down and cops are on my tail and they took my crystal ball. This dude lied to you, didn't tell you he was married. Didn't tell you he was straight. And don't get me wrong, he sounds like a real catch. But those are massive red flags, bro. I feel like, especially this season, um, everyone is so dialed in. Everyone is, is so on their game when it comes to their character. All you really need to do, essentially, is kind of, you know, put on your costume and go. To see Hank pushed, you know, to the brink where he has to make a stand and he has to make some difficult decisions uh, has just been such a fun thing as an actor to, to explore. It's, you're gonna start to see that this character is, is changing uh, over the course of this season. And it's, you know, all of the difficult things that Hank goes through is certainly having an effect on him. Oh, hey, Natalie, yes. um, listen. I can't feel empowered as a woman if I don't bring up other women with me, so I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you. And I, I really want you to learn. Great. But um, don't talk in meetings. Right. I love Natalie. I feel bad for Natalie. I relate to Natalie far too much. I don't want to give the actors too much credit, truly, because it really is the writers, but there's <clears throat> a lot of collaboration and, like, inspiration. So the writers seem to be excited by, whether it's things in our lives or things that we say or things that they've overheard or whatever, um, it does seem like a lot of it is based on us. And again, these are not flattering things. <laughs> these are some real losers. And that's just something that we have to accept. Um, and sometimes it hurts, but it's true. It's real. It's so true. Oh my God. You are nothing without me. You are nothing. Nobody stupid piece of shit. I brought you into the fold and this is how you fucking betray me. Your carrots for you. We're given so much room to play around and just explore and just kind of find the scene that way. And I think that the one thing that's so cool about Bill is he's just he's so open, he's so game to just to just see what what comes up and see what happens. To me, this is a magic family. It's every it's such nice people from all the way down, from our producers, Aida, to Bill, to Alec. There's a lot of directors you work with that just don't have that same kind of sensibility. And you can almost short speak it. It's like, can, you know, take the air out here and do this and give me a little more of that. So, okay. Everyone was really just great people. Justin Ball and Laura Hill, uh, VFX 
supervisors, Wade Allen, our stunt coordinator, Gavin Kleintop, our first AD, and Jonathan Jensen, our location manager, and they're all beautiful people. In writing, you, like, you never want to explain how to solve a problem, you just want to show the problem. The show this season has that in it, and also about just humanity, being human, how complex things are. Most of you know, the stuff I, I appreciate in the season is, is kind of balancing that dark and, and the comedy. And by the time we got to 308, we were just like, well, if we're going to do this and you're going to do this honestly, like none of this is very funny. And so we have to kind of see that through. And I think all the actors just come through beautifully. The end of season three is not how all of season four is going to be. <laughs> then there, there will be laughs. <laughs> The comedy will return to the show. <laughs>